All of the grades that you see attributed to the prospects in this video come directly from our Football Game Plan Scouting Prospect Grading Scale, which you can find all 532 of our prospect rankings on our website at footballgameplan.com slash fbgpscouting. The San Francisco 49ers new general manager John Lynch wanted to make a splash with his first draft and he did just that by adding a bevy of talented prospects that could see a ton of playing time as rookies. Cornerback Akilo Witherspoon out of Colorado and tight end George Kittle out of Iowa were solid prospects that can come in right away and become key contributors. What I really liked about the Niners draft was that in round one, thanks to two trades, they were able to get arguably the two best front seven players in the draft in Solomon Thomas out of Stanford and Reuben Foster out of Alabama. Thomas can serve multiple roles up front and shows the relentlessness to succeed as a pro. Foster is a throwback linebacker that delivers a knockout blow with each and every tackle. Joe Williams is one of the more explosive running backs in this draft class. He's coming off a really strong second half of the season and a great week of practice at the East-West Ryan game. In my opinion, he should be the day one starter because of his ability to hit the home run from anywhere on the field. Trent Taylor out of Louisiana Tech was a dynamic playmaker for the Bulldogs and does a great job in destroying zone coverages and also has the ability to consistently win one-on-one -on -one versus man. He adds a playmaking element to the receiving core. Lorenzo Jerome not getting drafted was a huge shock in my opinion. Not only can Jerome play all five positions in the secondary, he has elite level instincts and ball skills. For San Francisco, he provides a matchup move piece with the ability to create turnovers. Another shocker was Jimmy Gilbert out of Colorado going undrafted. People looked at his size and were concerned, but Gilbert, despite being quote unquote 225, showed great functional strength and the ability to bend the edge and get to the quarterback. This is another huge steal for the 49ers. Cole Hickletini out of Louisville plays like a big wide receiver and gives the Niners yet another offensive weapon in the passing game. You can tell this was a big focus for them this offseason. He was consistent all last year for the Louisville Cardinals. And I'm a big fan of the versatility of J.P. Flynn out of Montana State. Flynn can play either guard or tackle. I like him better inside, but he can provide good swing depth up front for San Francisco. And Matt Breida out of Georgia Southern has a ton of speed and great acceleration. I think he has a chance to earn the spot as the Niners kickoff returner, in addition to providing good backfield depth. I gave the 49ers a B-plus for their draft. I didn't understand the C.J. Beathard selection. In my opinion, there are much better options on the board. And if Beathard turns out to be Dak Prescott, then this will definitely be an A-plus draft. But in all honesty, I don't think he's even better than Brian Hoyer, which makes the quarterback position still a huge position of need for San Francisco.